For this video, you will need a Proxmark and a T5577 card that's been locked by using the blue corona. If you have an XEM implant, this is the same as the T5577 card, so you can follow along as well. The Blue Cloner is a popular tool for copying low frequency cards to T5577 tags. This is because it takes a very short amount of time to do and it's very simple with only two buttons. The issue with this however is that when you write to the T5577 card, it actually writes a password, which means that you're unable to write in the future again when not using the Blue Cloner. There's no way of actually knowing what the password of these devices are. They may look the same, however, they come from different factories, different times, and they're usually programmed by different people. Luckily, the blue cloner that's sold by DangerousThings.com, we do know the password for. And that password is 512436648. So what we can do is we can first check that this password is correct, and then we will change the password. A simple indication that you've left a password on the tag is when you're unable to either change the mode or to change the identifier of the tag. Let's check that it's actually been locked. Place the T5577 card onto the low frequency antenna of the Proxmark. We can then issue an LF search command and we get some data back from the tag. We then try writing to the tag by changing the mode and changing the value. In this case, we're changing it from HID to the 410 specification. We always get a success message on every write, so this is not a clear indication. But when we check using the LF search command, you can see that the mode and the ID haven't changed. That's because there is a password set. So let's first check this is the correct password by using the brute force commands. Using this command lft55xx brute force, and then the password we hope it is, and then that password incremented by one, we're just ensuring that this is actually the correct password. In theory, we could try and brute force any password. However, it will take a very long time. So when running this command, it brute forces the tag and finds the valid password. Now we can write the following command, which will get rid of the password. If your password is different to the one that we found above, then substitute that for the last string that you see here. We run this command and it writes the block zero and removes the password. We can check this can work by running the command to write to the tag. Again, we get the success message and we'll check again using LF search. As you can see, it's changed the mode and successfully written to the tag. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and also check out the links that I'll leave in the description.